today's video we're going to cover task objects and task tools in Game Guru Max. So here you can see I've entered my, my basement. It's dark. It's raining outside. I'm just going to come in here and flip on the switch. Shut the flashlight off. And so here's my basement scene. And let's suppose I wanted to, you know, use my bicycle. Or maybe I just wanted to fix my bicycle. If I press E, it says, you probably have a hard time reading that, it says WD-40 is required to fix the bicycle. Okay, so, i got to search around and see what we can find. Uh, we've got some objects here. So go ahead and collect this. Well, that's its spray paint. I don't think that's going to work. Now let's find out. Let's see if we can fix the bike with spray paint. Doesn't look like we can. Okay. So let's try to look around. Oh, here we are. This looks like WD-40. Yep. WD-40 is collected. And we'll just spray the can. That's a win. Ha! <laughs> there we go. We fixed the bicycle. So that's kind of the behavior. I'm sure you guys are going to come up with much better uses than that. That's all I could come up with on the fly. So let's take a look and see how is that done. So here's our, our scene. I just exited the preview. And what we're going to do is we're going to be using two different behaviors this time. One of them is going to represent the task object, the thing that we need to uh, do something with and then the other is going to be the task tool which is the thing required in order to, to perform that task so again in our scenario we have a bicycle that's broken and uh, we need to fix it so uh, we have a task object behavior here this is a lot more complicated than uh, what, what I covered in my last video with the animal behavior. So let me take a step through this for you and, and kind of explain how it works. So we have the task text. That's what shows up when I press E. When I go up to the bicycle and I press E, it says WD-40 is required to fix the bicycle. All right, so that, pr that initial prompt, the press E, is automatic. You don't have to do anything with that. When I press E, this is what it tells me. Um, the use range that just gives you like how far away you can be from uh, the object to be able to use it to interact with it. Um, and then here it says tool required. Now this is a drop down and it lists a couple of different kinds of tools. And if you use one of those kinds of tools, like a crowbar or a screwdriver or something like that, then it just knows what that is. It's kind of pre-programmed to know, okay, screwdriver is a screwdriver, but Let's suppose you have a tool that isn't one of those for uh, you know, pre-programmed tools like the WD-40 that's not in there. Then we can select a name tool and choose our own. So we'll click on that. And then here it's asking, okay, what's the name of the tool? So it's very important that you keep in mind you know, what, what you choose here. So there's WD-40 is what I wrote in there. And then this is the task use text. Um, so, uh, when I, uh, when I walk up and I use the, the, uh, task tool, it's going to spray the can, right? And then, um, I don't know if he caught it, but as, after it was done, uh, he said, you know, there we go much better right now. I used a sound that kind of, that came with, uh, Game Guru Max. It was just, uh. It's like it's uh, Allie killing an enemy, <laughs> but she just said, she, she said, that's a win. And I'm like, okay, well, that's good enough. I couldn't find anything better. So we went with that. And then we have also uh, the uh, the spray can sound. And you'll I don't know if you noticed that. You can play it back if you want to, but the, the voice came before the spray sound. Why is that? I put the spray sound first and the enemy uh, or the, the voice second. Why did one go off before the other? Well, not they didn't really. Here's what actually happened. If we look at this spray sound and I press play, listen close. There's like a full second of silence before the spray can goes off. That's enough time for the voice to come come through and and speak and then it's sprayed. So this is important because these sounds are going to play essentially back to back. So if you have a sound that's longer on the front than the, than the back one, then 
you can have a scenario like this where the second sound is actually playing before the first sound. So what can we do about that? Well, I could have taken the aerosol spray can uh, sound and shortened that by one second so that it kicked off immediately, right? And then she'd have said, that's a win. And that could have worked. I chose not to do it because I wanted to talk about this behavior that I, that I uh, encountered when I was setting this all up. So bear in mind, manage your sounds appropriately. If you have to, you can combine the two sounds so that it's just one sound. And that way you can make sure that the timing is, you know, what you want it to be. Or you can just play one sound if you want. There's no need to have both. You play no sounds. That's, that's also true. So bear that in mind. All right, so now we've set up our task object. So, and it's looking for WD-40. So now we need something in here that is going to be our task tool. Now, it just so happens that there's a, a number of WD-40 cans that come. I think it came with a DLC. It doesn't really matter. Whatever it is, as long as you name it appropriately. So we've, we've assigned the task tool uh, behavior. And just a reminder from the last video, make sure that you're... You're not using static. You have to choose a dynamic behavior. Probably want physics off. You could potentially do physics on if let's suppose you knocked into the can and bumped it over. Something like that could happen. You know, you it depends on you know how you want it to play. For me, physics off is fine. I didn't want it to go in anywhere. I checked this box here that says is ob is objective. Um, and then also check the box is collectible. So I, when I go up to it, I get the option to collect it. Um, and uh, that I believe is, yeah, see here in the behavior auto pickup. If I check this box, then I would have immediately picked it up as soon as I got close enough to it. So and that's what the pickup range is for. So that's an option. So here we get our text, our prompt text that says press E to, col uh, to collect it. Um, and then this is the pickup range. So again, I can, you know, be further away or closer. It just depends on how you want it to, to go. Auto pickup. I turned that off because I wanted to see that prompt show up. Um, and then here, it, it's really trying, uh, asking you what kind of tool is this, right? Well, we could identify it as a crowbar or a screwdriver or whatever. We could have probably chosen something like that. Um, but we didn't, we, I, pick, I picked name tool. And then I named it precisely what I named it in the other, uh, the other object. Now, if you had multiple setups in the same room, let's suppose you're doing an escape the room scenario where you're going to have multiple uh, task tools and task objects, it's going to be really important to make sure you get your naming conventions right and you keep those straight. And here we have the option to play a sound, but there was no reason to, to play a sound in this case. So I chose not to. So between the two behaviors, I can now uh, collect an object, uh, walk over to the task uh, object and, and use it. Um, and I also want to point out, we have over here a spray can and I set this up. I don't think it was that one. I think it was this one. Yep. This spray can was set up as a task tool as well. Uh, but it specifically was called spray can, spray paint. And the way the reason I did that because I wanted to make sure that I couldn't just use any name tool. It had to be the right name tool. So I named it something different and tested that. And as you saw, it only works if you have the right tool in hand. So that's important. Um, and that's that's really it. That's everything you need to know to set up a, a task object and task tool relationship. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I really would appreciate a, a like. If you want to see more videos like this, I, I plan to do more uh, tutorial videos on behaviors for Game Gear Max. So be sure to subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching all the way through. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye for now.